Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a mica dry brush technique. Thank you for watching. My name is Crystal and this is Emerson Aurora Design. So this is a 30 ounce modern curve from Stainless Depot and I'm going, I've already uh, sanded it and washed it and um, base coated it with a flat white paint by Rust-Oleum, it's Rust-Oleum two times uh, paint and primer. So I'm going to do the epoxy method here. Um, this is going to be a peekaboo style tumbler and so I'm going to put um, a, a small amount of epoxy on my tumbler. It'll be less than five milliliters and smooth that out. I'd want the glitter to lay flat. I'm using a combination of fine and chunky glitters. So um, I want the chunky glitter glitters to lay flat. So I'm just gonna smooth this out nicely. And then I'm going to show you the different glitters I'm going to be using. So this cup will have all the same color undertone glitter, it's all going to be in red, but I'm using different shades of red, different cuts of glitter to give it a more textured appearance in the peek boo. When you lay down your chunky glitters, you want to lay them down and then lay, go in with a fine glitter to go over top to fill in any spaces. You'll see me do that here in just a minute. I like to go in a swirl pattern, that's just my style. little heart-shaped confetti pieces I found at the Target dollar spot. thought they were perfect for a little Mickey cup. Um, I should be wearing my gloves here. I usually do. I don't know why I went in with my finger over the epoxy. Um, so don't do what I'm doing. Wear your gloves. Don't worry about the spaces that those glitters are causing. I'm going to go back in with that fine cut glitter to cover in the spaces. You'll still be able to see that flash of the large confetti type glitter underneath. It's really pretty. So I'm just going to keep going in and layering those glitters on top of each other to 
to make it have a more of a depth feel to it and to cover up any of the slick spots that may be caused from the epoxy being a little too thick in spots. And you'll be able to tell it almost looks like a wet spot when that glitter kind of gets absorbed into that resin really uh, a lot. <laughs> anyway, um, but this is okay because this is a peekaboo cup, so imperfections are just fine. I, I'm not too picky about my peekaboo cups. I just want good coverage on my glitter. So I do allow this to um, set up for 24 hours and then I put another coat of resin over top and you may need two just to make it smooth. This is after the resin has been applied and I've sanded it. I'm just showing you the vinyl cutouts that I made for my peekaboo. I'm doing a little window shaped Mickey and then a little uh, medium and large and small cutouts of Mickey so that glitter can peek through. And now time to spray paint over all that pretty glitter. I'm going to spray paint it a black by Rust-Oleum two times uh, paint and primer. You wanna just cover it evenly. Um, I choose to use bright colored vinyl so that I can kind of tell where the peekaboo spots will be after the paint's applied. So just do a couple layers. I let I spray a layer, let it dry, and I'll do another one if I need to. So while the paint's still a little bit tacky, not quite 100% set up, I'm going to take this Pearl X pigment powder. It's a mica powder with a um, charcoal shift to it, metallic shift to it, and just a chip brush. And I just dipped that brush into the mica I'm just dry brushing this over directly of the uh, spray paint. Now my paint is basically dry, um, but the mica will still stick to that paint. And I just keep brushing and brushing um, until you know it, it is even. This ended up being a really neat effect. Uh, it brought a metallic charcoal sheen to the cup. And it was the first time I just decided to try it and I figured hey, if it doesn't work I could spray paint over. But I do like the way it turned out. I had to um, dip that in there a few times. Be careful. I, like, I'm doing this outside. You don't want to breathe that mica powder in. Plus it'll make a huge mess if you do it in the house. But if you do have to do it inside, wear a mask so you're not breathing in those mica particles. So now I put my um, cup on the turner. I'd already pulled off all of my vinyl. And you can see those sweet little Mickey ears with the red shining through. And that metallic gray is so, it's such a cool effect. Now I did not have to seal that mica, but if you want to, you can um, with a clear varnish. I just chose to go in with my resin. and. Um, there's a little, you may see, I'm not sure if you can tell at the bottom there, there is a couple imperfections in that mica. I think it got scratched or I had a drip in my paint. So you'll see how I fix that later to kind of camouflage that um, area that messed up. <laughs> Glitter makes a great camouflage. So you'll see me do a bit of, a, um, of an ombre kind of with black glitter here at the end. You'll see.
So here I am just sprinkling some chunky glitter to try to camouflage that little imperfection down at the bottom. And then I'm going to go in with a finer cut and ombre it up a little bit. This is not my final layer <clears throat> of resin. I am going to go in and put a quote and a name. So, uh, and it will cover that. And that way I can do another layer of resin over the vinyl and over this layer of glitter. This is a good example of how you can fix an imperfection on a cup without going through and completely stripping your cup because who doesn't need more glitter? We all need a little more glitter in our lives. So I decided to add that fine glitter to the bottom of the cup just to match that bottom area. And then I'm going to aim, you probably, it's probably hard to tell, but I'm going to aim the glitter at the very edge of the cup while I'm holding the cup at a 45 degree angle. And that will allow that glitter to just gently cascade up the cup without uh, being too hard of a line. That's how you uh, do an ombre effect and it just makes a nice transition into the regular part of the cup. I want to take the time to say thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you learned some new technique today and I hope you go out and try it yourself. You can use different colored micas, different uh, techniques with that and I'd love to see your creation. This cup turned out so pretty. I love the little uh, red Mickey ears and I just think it has so much dimension and depth and um, I just want to say thank you so much again and if you like my videos and you want to watch more I do try to release at least one video a week so hit that subscribe button hit, hit the like button and that way you can see more of my videos in the future. Thank you so much, and you have a wonderful day.